Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I will give an overview about REST API authentication. So basically, if we want to update a post or taxonomies or any other data into the our site, we have to authenticate the REST API request where we will use a methods like post, delete, or the uh, put uh, put method. Okay. So how we can what kind of authentication uh, we can use for the REST API? So there are multiple authentication methods available so first is the cookie based authentication where the user is already logged in okay on or the work and it also used the nonsense to avoid the csrf across site request forgery issues okay and there are a few others so like um, when we used rest api so there would be a thing that uh, that we are up uh, calling the REST API or making the REST API request from another platform to our sites, right? So I think at that point, cookie authentication may not work for us. So what are the other methods are available? So if you see, there are multiple plugins available. One is the OAuth uh, server plugin available, the application password and JSON web tokens. And there is also basic authentication where actual user, uh, WordPress username and password will use. Okay. But basic authentication only we can we should use into the development and testing purpose because it reveals the actual username uh, uh, password okay but instead of that we can use application password because application password this is the plugin but now it's uh, it implemented or added into the wordpress code so in this video i will uh, I will give a demo of how we can use application passwords uh, to, to authenticate our REST API request so that we can perform the CRUD operation like creating or updating or deleting the posts. Okay. So if you go here into the our uh, site, okay, go to the user. So application password available. So we will create application password for movie manager. So this uh, movie manager rule we have created uh for to manage the movies and people and it's a taxonomies uh, uh post types okay content type so we will create uh application password for the movie manager so go to the edit if you go below you can see the application passwords okay but currently it's not available because the application password feature requires https which is not enabled on this site okay so now this is my local environment site so how we can enable the uh, on this site and if this is a development website then you can set the environment type accordingly to enable the application password okay so if you go to the page here uh into the config uh, environment let me just search for environment type okay so go through here so this environment time constant is uh added okay so uh, using this constant we uh, work uh, we can tell wordpress that what is the current environment okay whether it's local or production or the staging so we can we can use that one okay um so and there are four uh, uh environment types available local development staging and the production okay so uh, we we have to define this constant but how we can identify which value we have to use right we should use local okay so let me just copy this one okay go to the, our code base go to the config.php file and here i will define the constant and i will provide the local because it's my local environment site okay and let's see how uh, it's working on a simply reload the page now you can see that new application password have been uh, uh, we can uh, create a new one so let me before that how we can identify that so what we can do is that uh, into the wp includes folder go to the user.php file um user.php file okay here you can see this valley uh, application password related functions and this is the one function wp is application password available and it uh, have a filter but it called the supported wp is application password supported in current site and it uses whether it's ssl whether it's current site have https enabled or the environment type if it's a local then only it will be enabled okay so 
uh, and that's why current uh, initially the application password was not enabled on our local system after defining the local environment type constant then it will uh, enable okay so this is just for your reference if the application password is not enabled in your local system then you have to define um, this constant okay so here now we will provide application name we will simply give a rest api okay and add a new application password okay and this is the application password created okay uh, so we will use this one and uh, we have to save this at a safe location so i will simply just copy this okay and uh, create a new file for now here and keep it here okay and then because after one after that it won't be visible okay and so rest api uh, our application password na uh, name um, application name created on today and then whenever the where it's last used and last ipn and if we thought that this uh password so we can also revoke uh, the uh, current password and we can create a new application password just in case if we thought that maybe that application password have been leaked or or like stolen okay just in case so using the application password it's not actually using the actual your user password so uh, and using the application password user want to be able to log in into the, into the wordpress site okay it will only use to, uh, to authenticate the xml rpc and the rest api request okay yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress